Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Pro app app and we are covering object value selector as a part of component usage. And in the previous video, we simply have written the logic in the phase zero. We have written the logic to change the text one as a part of screen position, three as a part of list position. Now what I will do, firstly we will understand this phase 0 output in the debugging mode, then we will go for phase 1. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint. You all know in Web10 Pro app app, external breakpoint is applicable. I will run and we will see. Whenever I will click here, you all know our logic will trigger and the phase indicator value will be zero. System will enter into debugging mode. This parameter is very important and what is the value zero? It means this first condition is true. So system will simply enter into this particular logic. Now you can see as of now, this LT label text internal table is blank. LT column text internal table is blank. Firstly, we are passing the data to work area. From work area, it is going to internal table. It means into this internal table for this ER tag column, but the label we are giving date. Now we are going for second internal table. So this is our second internal table data. We have one record into this internal table, VBELN document number. Now we have the second one. We have this sales of VKORG organization. Now we will go for third. You can see in the third we have this VTWEG channel. Now SAP is simply simply passing these two internal table to set configuration method and this text will be configured. Now I will simply go for OK. Now you can see phase indicator value is 1. As of now, we have not implemented 1. I will simply go for F8. And you can see this is the date. Whenever I will go for Go button, you all know at that time phase 2 will trigger. Anyways, there is nothing in the phase 2 as of now. We have not written anything. Document number, organization and channel. So this is the way how you can use phase zero to change the labels. Now we will move on to phase one. What is the purpose of phase one? The purpose of phase one is to pass the default values, is to pass the search input. If I will go for the documentation of phase one, it is clearly written there. The purpose of phase one is to set the search structure and the defaults. You can pass the default values. You can pass the search input. Yes, anyways, this is a also a optional. If you do not want to go for default value, there is no need to go for, there is no need to write anything into this particular step. Now, if I will simply see the code into this particular step, but the code SAP has written into this. This is the code which SAP has written. Just see, firstly, SAP is getting the value and the SAP is setting. Suppose if I will see this particular structure, this is a particular work area. If I will double click onto this LS search input, if I will double click here, you can see LS search input is of this particular type. And you can see this particular type, it is all about our screen position. I will again go. Now you can see after getting SAP is setting also and documentation is clearly written. Pass the values to the OBS component. SAP is setting whatever is into this particular work area. SAP is simply setting. If I will double click on to this work area, simply it is same. If I will double click on to this work area, 
this work area is referring to this structure. And in this particular structure, we have one column ER dat, and this structure is for what? It is your screen position where you can pass the search input, where you can pass the default value. So simply, simply, if I will pass the value to this particular work area, it means that particular value will be set. Just understand the process. It is very, very easy to write the code. Suppose SAP has written this particular code. SAP is using the set method. We want to set the default value. And SAP, is, uh, whenever SAP is setting, SAP is using this particular structure. It means whatever is into this particular work area, sorry. Whatever is into this particular work area, those values will simply, simply set. If you double click on to this work area, this work area is referring to this particular structure. This structure has one column ER dat, and this structure is your screen position where we are passing the search input or default value. It means we will simply, simply pass the value to this work area and value will be set. Suppose I, I will write the logic. So I will write ls underscore search underscore input. Suppose what is the name of the column? ER dat. Suppose I will take some value from that table so that we can get records. Suppose we will go for this particular value because we have so many records for this particular input. And you all know how we can pass it. Y, 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 Y. Then we have MM and then we have DD. Generally in projects, customer asks for to put a side datum or something. If I will go for side datum, we will not be able to get the records. So I put a date on which we have the records. If I will check the syntax and I will go for activate. So this particular value, yes, is going to this work area and SAP will simply, simply set the value. Now breakpoint is already there. So we will understand this in the debugging code. I will run this particular web Pro application. Just read the documentation, check the code. It's very easy. I will simply click on to this F4 button. Our logic will trigger. So firstly, phase indicator value will be zero. You can see phase indicator value is zero. This particular logic will trigger and our particular text will be set. Now system will come to one. Now the phase indicator value is one. Yes. We want default value, so we have written the logic is. So this is our phase one. So this particular condition is true. So firstly, SAP is getting the values, okay? Now, if I will simply execute this method, you can see ls underscore search input. As of now, there is nothing in the ER tag because if uh, whenever the system is coming, if you remember previously, when this logic has not written, there's nothing in the ER dat. So as of now, yes, ER dat is blank. Now we are setting the value of ER dat. Now you can see into this particular work area, we have this particular value. We have this particular value and we are simply, simply setting the value, yes. If I will go for OK, now you can see we have this particular value. So with the help of phase one, this particular value is coming. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, we understood the output of phase zero in that debugging board. Correct output. The screen position labels got changed. Yes. The list position labels also got changed. After that, yes, we are going for phase one. What is the purpose of phase one? You can pass the default input, yes, with the help of phase one. 
So we want to pass that default value to this date field. So we simply check the code first, but the code SAP has written. SAP is using the method set input structure and this particular work area which SAP is passing at one or two places. By mistake, I told this as st uh, structure. Just ignore that. This is a work area. This work area is of this particular structure. Type. Now, when we check this particular structure, this structure is all about screen position. Screen position means where we can pass our input, search input and default value. So we simply, simply are passing the value to this particular work area and this particular value is getting set. And after that, we simply understood in the debugging mode that we are getting the expected result. Now in the next video, we will simply write the code in the phase two because you all know phase two is all about selecting the data. So in the next videos, we will go for phase two and phase three. So that's it in this video. Thank you.